When the 4th Combat Aviation Brigade cased its colors, Fort Hood said goodbye to its last remaining 4th Infantry Division unit. At its new home at Fort Bliss in El Paso, the unit will become the 1st Air Combat Aviation Brigade 1st Armored Division. It's always a tremendous privilege and honor to serve as the reviewing officer for a change of command, especially when it's celebrating the accomplishments of such a superb unit as the 4th Aviation Brigade. A phenomenal combat commander like Dan Williams and the outstanding battalion commanders and command sergeants major of this Army team. Of course, this ceremony is a bittersweet one for me as it not only is a bid farewell to a great command team, but to also case all the colors of a tremendous brigade team and the battalions of the Iron Eagles. The Iron Eagles deployed to Afghanistan last year as part of the troop surge. They supported 22 nations' forces across the country flying 6,200 missions in 68,000 flight hours, including 800 medical evacuations and 250 air assaults. For me, battalion commanders, it was truly an honor to take you into harm's way, to watch your successes, your bravery, your leadership, and your skills grow, and to bring you home again. So standing here today and looking back, it bears your memory of the success in combat, some 8,000 miles away from here, are directly attributed to the world-class facilities we found and have at Fort Hood, Texas, enabled by the great leaders here. Faced with a very short dwell and much to accomplish and a little time to do it, we focused on the basics. We focused on lethal crews, quality maintenance procedures, standards, and discipline. We focused on rules of engagement. All of those efforts paid off in the history presented today. Former 4th Combat Aviation Brigade Deputy Commander Colonel Lonnie Hibbard will lead about 1,400 current brigade soldiers in addition to as many incoming soldiers at Fort Bliss. Today is a unique ceremony as we conduct four changes of responsibility, five changes of command, and case the unit's colors in preparation for the move to Fort Bliss all in one ceremony. What makes today special is sharing this event with soldiers, leaders, and local community members from Fort Hood and the surrounding Central Texas area, as well as family and friends that have come in from out of town. Dan, I want to thank you for a smooth transition that started over a year ago. We had a unique opportunity to set the conditions for today's change of command and the units moved to Fort Bliss, not only through our professional relationship, but through our friendship and the mentorship you have shared with me over the past two years. You and Susan have been dear friends. Gail and I are truly grateful for everything you have done for us and with us over time over the time that we have known each other. You and Susan are the model of a command team, and it was a privilege to have been part of your team on your staff, and now it is humbling to be following in your footsteps. From Fort Hood, Texas, I'm Jana Zepp.